Hello, welcome once again to another edition of the Western News Review. My name is Daniel Lebo, and as usual, I'm here today with Corey Osterman and Nicole Morehouse, and we bring you the top stories that have been, you know, trending with the Western Herald over the past week. And today we have a couple for you. But before we get into that, how's it going, guys? It's going well. A few weeks left in the semester, going yeah. strong, a little tired, but... <laughs> Stressful. We've got this. I we've mean, got this. We've made it this far. We can, <laughs> we can just <laughs> keep going, you know. Yeah, Nicole, how's it? Yeah, I agree with Corey. Almost, <laughs> almost over the semester, going home this weekend, it'll be a nice little reset. Yeah. Uh, I'm so frustrated lately. It's it's so tough, you know. But I understand it comes with you know the final weeks of the semester, and yeah. in like three or four weeks you can you can rest. So there's that. I'm, I'm sure like we we get to rest really, but I yeah. mean, you guys still do your new stuff even all throughout the summer. Oh and yeah, also. we go all all the way through the summer, but Must less tough. less than we do now. So <laughs> yeah, it's still tough. Just the fun know. stuff. <laughs> Yeah, doing amazing work. Anyways, uh, thanks again, listeners, for tuning in to today's episode. Today we're looking at um, very interesting stories. One that has got to do with Western holding a Western week for former students, current and then future Broncos. I will tell you all about that. And uh, there's another story about WSC confirming executive officers. You know, we have a new administration. Uh, what is going on with them? We'll tell you more. We also have WMU Grand Rapids to host family events. What's that all about? Watch out. And then uh, <laughs> there is an amazing news for the Western community because WMU has won an award, a, th- a tree award, for the 15th year in a row. Like one, two, three, four, 15. That's, <laughs> that's a big deal, you know. So uh, congratulations to them. Again, we'll share more about that. And then the, our final story will be again about my guest. You know, last week we spoke about them, the amazing work that they are doing at the Western Herald. And that has paid off. They've won an award. We'll tell you more about that too. Let's get into it, guys, and begin with the Western Week that is upcoming. And Nicole is going to give us that story. What's that all about? Yeah, so basically there's just a series of events going on next week. Um, I'm looking at a story that I wrote this past week, and Mm -hmm. it kicks off Wednesday with Giving Day, just encouraging people to give to Western. There will be Bye Bye Bernhard saying goodbye to the current student center on Thursday, as well as thank you stations where people, students can say thank you to donors and just alumni that have supported the university. So is this like some kind of a homecoming of a sort where you have an, you know, alumni come just to Yeah, give? there will be several events for both future, current and former students. So there will be a lot of, there will be like an alumni tailgate, um, I believe Anything that's Friday. Fun? Bronco I bash. Mean, I'm, I'm, oh, there's going to be Bronco bash for um, that. Sorry, maybe uh, that's the wrong word. Not Bronco bash. Sorry, not Bronco bash. Sorry. Um, it's like a tailgate with uh, music and food. So like fun stuff. Yeah, and then there's like stuff at the Bernhard Center all week to like uh, say goodbye to it. And wait, when is this? When, when is this week starting? Do we know? What are the dates? Um, oh. Yeah, so it starts on Wednesday and it goes through Saturday. Oh, next week Wednesday. Yes. Uh, the oh. what is that? The twelfth? Yeah, the twelfth. Sorry, Spring Bash was the word I was looking for, oh, actually, okay. for current <laughs> students. Um, right. Sorry about Bronco that. Bronco Bash is in the fall, which yeah. is also very fun. I mean, I was there. It was really fun. I loved it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I took some amazing photos as well. But interesting stuff. So uh, so we're going to have the fun aspect. We're also going to have the aspect about giving, mm-hmm. which uh, also is also very important for Western to run. You know, the university is a nonprofit organization, and so donor support really plays a key role when it comes to running, you know, the school. So that's some pretty cool stuff. But uh, what is WMU Day of Giving, if you can share more? I mean, you've mentioned the aspect about donors giving, but what's that really about? And how can people get involved? Or why should, not, not how, maybe why should people get involved anyways? Yeah, well, there are over, or sorry, nearly 2,000 funds that people can give to, and it's just a day 
kind of dedicated to encourage people to support their mm-hmm. favorite organizations or ones that they're involved in past, you know, if they're alumni, um, just to help support and keep those organizations or programs going. Mm-hmm. So also a yeah. great opportunity to give to your favorite RSOs on campus, <laughs> aka the Western Herald and wider. <laughs> You know, Corey just had to, you know, put that in there, you know. <laughs> just just st- think about them, too, you know. I'm when you're given. I mean, I mean <laughs> but, but, yeah, you know, you should think about your favorite artists. So you have the Western Herald, you have White as well, and they also need your support. So once you're given to the larger Western community, you want to yes. also um, target these entities that are doing amazing work, you know, bringing you new stories mm-hmm. around you. It's, it's not easy. Last time we spoke about the difficulties they sometimes you know encounter in their line of work. So if you're doing the listening and you feel like giving, you should also think about the Western Herald and wider film, of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, we look forward to that. And I myself, I'll be there, especially for the fun part. Uh, but let's do some more stories and talk about the WSA because we understand they've confirmed some officers for the Bad Bringers um, Powers Administration. What which executive positions, um, Corey? I mean, share, tell us more about the story and tell us which executive positions were confirmed. Yeah, so the story comes to us from our resident WSA reporter, Ian Russell. Mm-hmm. Um, they. All the RSOs on campus are confirming people to be in their leadership positions next year because the semester is coming to an end and you want to have those Mm -hmm. seats locked down. Um, Let's see. A few of those are the positions at WSA are holdovers from the San Marcon administration, including the director of marketing and outreach, Mm -hmm. Alex Casper. Alex Kasperzak, director of allocations, Tyler Smith and allocations commission vice chair Clayton Wierda. Um, there's a couple more. We have the chairperson of the disabilities committee, um, executive officer for academic affairs. Basically they're just putting everyone in all of those positions and Mm -hmm. finalizing what next year's Western student association will look like. Mm. And you need that because definitely you can't run an administration without executive officers. So that makes a lot of sense, but we understand the the WSA speakership to has some election stuff going on. Um, I think, is yes. that in the story as well? And what, what can you say about that? It's either in this story or the one from last week. But um, yeah, the speaker position goes through an election process, mm-hmm. just like the uh, president, vice president and secretary positions. Mm-hmm. And uh, the current speaker is running again. And I yeah. believe somebody else is also. Yeah, I understand the I current one is, is me, running again. Uh, yes. Longlet, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, Griffin... <laughs> Baginski, not okay. sorry if I butchered that, but <laughs> <laughs> he is also running for Speaker of the Assembly. Yeah, and I have seen Long let make the case that you know he ha- he's had experience you know running the Speaker, so um, he thinks he's the best man for the job. But we'll keep an eye on that. We don't want to get into the politics of who should or who shouldn't you yeah. know take that position. So we'll see who wins that. But let's move away from that politics and move to some. Um, other interesting stories and again I'll come back to you Nicole uh, not Nicole so this story uh, talks about WMU Grand Rapids oh, yeah, hosting an me. event <laughs> oh that's you <laughs> yeah okay so I, I was supposed to do the story about uh, I mean we still we did it anyway so uh, let's do this one WMU Grand Rapids to hold family events and I'm interested in knowing what the family event is Yeah, so we uh, have a branch of Western in Uh Grand Rapids, uh, and this event is a STEM-focused family event uh, on April 8th, so unfortunately, that's tomorrow. We record on Fridays, so that will have already happened by the time this comes out, Uh but um, what it is, it was like a science, technology, engineering, and math event for kids. Oh, so it's for kids. Um, Yeah, they have um, the AMP Lab Family Open House is coming back they have like lego creations and robots Mm -hmm. and it's basically like a fun way for kids to get um their first step into the world of engineering how do you think this will impact these kids especially for their future careers i think just being exposed to things like that is um something that's important like if you're exposed to something like that at a young age and Mm -hmm. you're like wow this is really interesting then you might want to go into that in the future and Mm -hmm. Maybe some of them will end up studying at WMU Grand Rapids in that 
building. Ah, we hope so. <laughs> <laughs> we hope so for that to happen. Uh, then we move to some recognition for um, Western, which is with respect to a tree award. Now, there's a lot of talk about environmental sustainability and whatnot, but before we get into more specifics, first of all, Nicole, tell us what the award is about. We understand Western has won it for 15 years in a row. That's like, that's so impressive, you know, and I want to find out more. Why is this award significant and what is it about? Yeah, I have a story here written by our staff reporter, Kayla Lambert, and the story basically details that Western, um, sorry, the Arbor Day Foundation has awarded Western the Tree Campus Higher Education Award for the 15th year in a row, which is basically an award for how um, the landscape services on campus maintain the like all the trees around campus. So it's basically our environment. But do, do you, 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 you've been here at least for some uh, couple of semesters and you see the environment here. How do you see this environment that you've witnessed contributing to it? Is this reflective of the award, for instance? Do you see this environment being something worthy of you know, recognition of that nature? Yeah, I think one thing people like about Western is it's a beautiful campus. I mean, whenever people ask me what I like about Western, one of the things I say is how pretty campus is. It has all the trees, the hills, the ponds. Um, I brought someone here just last to, semester and he noticed or he mentioned two things about campus. One, that it's big and two, that we have a lot of trees. <laughs> it is so, big. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And there are trees. We've talked about that before. <laughs> yeah. Something and, interesting about this story that I wanted to bring mm -hmm. up is that I've been here for so long and mm -hmm. we've won this award so many times mm -hmm. that this was about to be the third year that I wrote this particular story. story so I what? begged our staff writers. I was like, somebody else write this story <laughs> because I love it. I'm very happy for Western, but I don't want to write it again. Yeah, it's like we keep winning. <laughs> <laughs> we keep winning it. It's good for them. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know if you've been, you in the School of Coin, if you've been on the last floor of uh, Sproul but yes. when you are on the 10th floor and you look at the uh, western environment mm -hmm. it's so beautiful from up there the 10th yeah. floor of Sproul is my favorite place to do homework wow I love it I love <laughs> the view from there it gives you how beautiful the western environment is mm -hmm. and that 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 tells you we really deserve this award. So I'm not surprised that 15 years in a row. I mean I didn't <laughs> think it would be this much 15 years in a row but it's still I mean, it, it still speaks to the fact that we are doing something right. But uh, let's uh, talk more about that. What role do you think students have in ensuring this continued environmental sustainability, this continued, you know, um, success that we achieve in terms of the recognition for how our campus is? How can students get involved? What act activities or what actions can students, you know, undertake to ensure that we have a continued environmental sustainability? Um, I think basically just being respectful of our environment mm -hmm. is probably number one. We have an amazing landscaping mm -hmm. staff who is out there every season changing out the flowers, just mm -hmm. making sure things look good. Mm -hmm. um, and the construction team will block off trees to make mm -hmm. sure that they're safe when we do construction and just mm -hmm. like paying attention to those things and knowing how important it is, mm -hmm. is a pretty cool thing. And then we also have things on campus like the Office of S Sustainability and right. the Gibbs House that you can volunteer at. And those mm -hmm. are all like environmentally friendly volunteering opportunities. Mm, very good. I, I, I didn't know about some of these offices that you talk, you spoke about. And so that's very good. You can volunteer to help that. And I, I also feel like personally, you can decide not to, you know, to keep your environment clean, you know, to, yes. to not litter around <laughs> and all of that. Uh, thankfully, this this campus is always clean, but you can continue to do that, right? So don't change your attitude when it comes to uh, <laughs> keeping the environment safe. All right. This is not the only award that is to some extent associated with Western. There's more award and this more specifically to the organization that uh, comes together to put this show, uh, bring this show to you. I'm talking about the Western Herald. Mm -hmm. They've also won some award and I'm so happy for them because, you know, looking at the kind of work they do, they deserve that recognition as well. And and so you're going to tell me about that again, Corey, uh, what yeah. the award is about. So every year, uh, the Western Herald submits several pieces to the Michigan Press Association College Contest. Mm -hmm. 
So all of the university newspapers in Michigan will submit stuff. Um, usually the big awards are taken home by MSU mm -hmm. and <laughs> U of M because they have amazing newspapers as like everything else. But mm -hmm. the Western Herald has actually taken home quite a few awards this year. Um, oh. We got a couple awards and a couple of honorable mentions. Awesome. So huge shout out to our formal photo editor, former photo editor, Allie Mitter. Mm -hmm. um, she's just an amazing photographer. She's still here and she's in the photo school and doing great. Mm -hmm. um, but she got best news photo. Oh. First place for a photo she took at the Chicago Women's March. Ooh. Um, and she also got honor an honorable mention in the best news photo category for mm. WMU student victim of drunk driving protest. So there's was, there was a protest and she for took a victim of it? and she took photos there. Oh. Um, she also got first place in the best feature photo category. Um, she took some photos at a Martin Luther King Day wreath laying hymnal. And she got second place in that category as well for WMU students celebrate the Holly Festival. Wow. So those were all Allie. <laughs> That's a lot. Absolutely for incredible. Best. She brought us the gold. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even work for us anymore. She's graduating this semester, though. So if you know her, show her some love. She's amazing. Wow. Um, and then our editor in chief, Ben Epstein, brought home the best column in the review or blog sports category he mm -hmm. has a lot of really good sports writing mm -hmm. for his article good coaching is underrated former wmu football co cornerback calls team departure mm -hmm. talks team departure so that's something that ben wrote for us a while back and he got second place in that sports category awesome. and then our lovely Nicole Morehouse Ooh. got an honorable mention <laughs> in the column reviewer blog for the news category. Oh. Her story is called My Path to Recovery, Overcoming an Eating Disorder. Wow. Um, that's just an amazing story that I kind of talked her into <laughs> submitting mm -hmm. a while back. And it paid off, and we're super proud of her. I know she's embarrassed right now and doesn't well, want to talk about it. You, right, right after I said that, I'm going to make you say a few words. So start, start a speech in your head, you know? Start preparing something in your head while she, she goes on. <laughs> she's probably mad at me for bringing up this whole article at all because we're talking about her. But mm. if you know Nicole, give her a pat on the back but don't make a big deal of it because <laughs> <laughs> you know she's shy <laughs> wow I'm, I'm so so congratulations to all the winners of the awards <laughs> um ellie ben uh, epson ben epson yeah. mm -hmm. um, as well and then oh we have a ben epson in ghana and oh. he's into news too he's one of the most popular um newspaper writers oh, in Ghana. yeah he wow interesting that you have one here too <laughs> so congratulations to uh, him as well and then to nicole let's clap for her Yay, <laughs> Yay. Nicole. congratulations how does it feel um it feels good like corey <laughs> said i wasn't gonna submit the story and then a couple mm. weeks ago in a meeting um ben pulled up the results and it was I got so funny. Mention, we thought so. we hadn't won anything. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, but then we like were searching harder. We like we like control F like, <laughs> and just put like Western Herald in there, and it popped up six times. We were like, "What?" Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we found out in a very weird way. We were at a student media group board meeting, but everyone was super supportive, and it was it was very fun finding mm. out. Nobody was more excited than Ben. These people. <laughs> ben was so excited. Yeah, <laughs> He's I mean... like, "I never win anything." <laughs> <laughs> well now he has Alice so congratulations to him I'm, I'm sure this is going to motivate you but Nicole tell me how does this for instance impact your journey going on forward you know having at least this recognition have having this honorable mention and not just Nicole but I'm looking at and um, Corey you, you also want to share about generally your staff and yeah the, the organization winning these recognitions how you think it's going to impact your work going forward but let's start with nicole first personally how do you think this is going to affect you, you as you move forward yeah i think it gave me a little bit more confidence in like my writing because i'm not like super new but i'm kind of relatively new to like writing and journalism mm -hmm. so like this is the only time I've ever submitted work to like for any kind of competition. So, mm -hmm. um, and that was also a story that I wrote when I was pretty brand new to the Herald. So it was just cool to like get that recognition and like have that confidence that what I'm writing is 
you know, it's, it's, it's getting recognition. Yeah. 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 <laughs> awesome. She's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I imagine, you, you, like you said, it's giving you that level of confidence. Now, now mm-hmm. Corey, tell me about the large organization, you know, um, ha- winning this recognition, your members doing that. Do you think it's going to affect, impact your work positively? Yeah. So um, in years past, we would only submit like a couple stories that mm-hmm. we thought were super, super good. We would like vet them pretty heavily. But this year we decided to just submit whatever we thought was Mm. decent enough to Mm. get some sort of recognition. And I think we submitted 33 stories and photos and it paid off. We got Mm -hmm. some stuff this year. So next year I will be absolutely certain that we submit as many stories as possible. (laughs) I am going to be doing exactly what I did to Nicole this year and getting my staff writers to (laughs) submit their stuff because... Mm -hmm. It does pay off. Yeah. They're working really hard. I'm super proud of them. You sound really proud too. And I, I am. These are my people. <laughs> yeah. I love these people, and I'm so proud of all of them mm-hmm. for everything that they do on the daily. And I mm-hmm. think that we need to submit more of that and get them the recognition that they deserve. Yeah, and I agree. Gets them that, and I, I imagine that next year is going to get even better now that you know that someone out there is watching someone out there yes. appreciates the work that you're doing and this is usually the the challenge with you know volunteering for student groups for instance where you don't know whether or not you're being appreciated because mm-hmm. you're volunteering your time and you don't know if anyone out there is watching you know even here at wider where you come and sit behind the console and then you're talking into the microphone you wonder yeah. is someone out there listening right if you write is someone out there reading and do they appreciate what i write so i i can understand why you're proud of yeah. this moment and I didn't even personally <laughs> win anything but I am like beaming from ear to ear every yeah. time we bring it up I'm I'm so proud of it. It's reflective of the kind of you know <laughs> leadership that you you have your yeah. kind of work that you do because sometimes you don't have to personally get the, the recognition but the fact that people you are mentoring are doing it you know it, it also helps you know people you're leading doing it it also helps it also tells that you are you're doing a great job so kudos you. to you as well Corey. thank you and back again to you congratulations <laughs> thank Nicole. you and to all the others who won some recognition as well congratulations to you wherever you are and keep doing the good job that you're doing but that's all time will permit for this episode of the western news review my name is daniel Lebo, and today i was joined by Corey Osterman, the news editor at the western herald and then Nicole Moha, the lead news reporter. Until same time next week, take care, be safe, bye-bye.